Hello and welcome back, Chris here. So today I'm actually visiting my sister in the Canadian Rockies. We're in Calgary and uh, she's a talented artist as you can see. And so she's drawn me this beautiful picture of a cat. And then I have used Meta's brand new animated drawings repository to animate it. So this is available on a demo at sketch.metademolab.com. But we also have access to this repository where we can actually run this in Docker and animate our drawings ourselves. There's also a process by which you can create your own animation files based off of your own videos. Uh, but that's a little bit more complex, so I won't be going into that today since it touches on tooling that I'm not very experienced with at all. So let's just get right into it. First things first, of course, we're gonna wanna clone this repository. And then we're gonna wanna head to our terminal. Once we're in our terminal, we will clone the repository using the command git clone, and then we'll put the repository in there. As you can see, I already cloned this. So now that we've cloned it, we can just CD into it with CD animated drawings. So now that we have the animated drawings repository, we're gonna go through the steps to set this up with Docker. So it's really straightforward actually to run this with Docker, which is fantastic. Um, I'm doing this on Mac M1 to be clear, since uh, I'm not at my normal workstation. And it's really straightforward to use uh, Docker on the Mac, but this will be the same process for Windows and Linux. So let's just navigate to our terminal. We have to CD into the torch serve directory. So we'll CD torch serve. Once we're here, we're gonna use the command docker build dash T and we're gonna just call this whatever we want. So docker torch serve, and then we're gonna build it off of the present working directory with this dot. As you can see, that happened very quickly, and that's because I already built the image for this container before. Now that we've built the image, we can run the actual container. So we're gonna use this command docker run dash D, then we're gonna give it the name docker torch serve. We're gonna use the dash dash RM uh, in order to ensure that when this is stopped, it is removed. And then we're gonna map 8080 and 8081 to this container and then we can run it. Now it's gonna take a few seconds for it to uh, kind of get going. Once it does though, we can curl to check to see if it is healthy or not. And we do that with this curl uh, localhost 8080 with ping, and you can see that this is healthy, so things are good to go. Now that things are good to go, you have to set up a few things. Really, all you have to do is in this drawings folder, You'll have to put the drawing that you want to be animated. Again, you can definitely do more with this. So you can create your own animation files and everything like that, but we're just gonna go through the process of using the standard animation files for this today. Back in our terminal, we're ready to run the Python command that gets this thing going, and I'll show that to you now. Okay, so that we've ensured that drawing is in our uh, drawings folder. We can go ahead and cd space dot dot slash examples. Once we're in examples, we can run this Python command. So the Python command is python space image to animation.py drawings cat2.ping cat2 out v1. Now this cat2.ping should be replaced by whatever drawing you've made. So if you've drawn a dog or whatever, it uh, doesn't matter as long as you point to that image. And then the second parameter that we see here is the output folder. So we can see when we're done, what it looks like. As you can see, it does take a little bit for it to run. Uh, the output is mostly silent until you start to see the iterations. You'll notice that I have a very particular, uh, you know, warning here, which is because of the fact that the cat's tail extends past the bounds of the detected figure, um, it is not included. So they just skip it when they're when they're making the uh, when they're making the final result. Now that this is done, we can navigate to that folder. So I'll use in Mac, the command is open dot slash, and then I'll go cat underscore two underscore out underscore v1. And that will actually open my output. And you'll see a few things here. Number one, we've got some config files. I'm not gonna go too much into those right now, 
Um, but uh, we also see this image, and then we see this joint overlay. So this is where the joints were automatically detected and placed. So this is to animate our character. This is like the little animation rig that it's gonna use. Then we have this mask. That's what actually determines where our character is. And then we have this texture.png, which is just kind of the, uh, what it's going to use to dance around for us. And we have this video, which you saw at the beginning, which is this dancing cat. And that is really it. That is all it took. That's, that's the amount of work that was done is drawing that image and then, uh, you know, running that command. And we have this amazing result. So again, you can go way more in depth on this, but I just wanted to show you guys this pretty cool tech that came out uh, open source by Meta. So thank you, Meta. I hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you in the next one.